Hello and welcome to the first video, uh, episode of RetroFi. Now on this channel I'll mostly be covering hi-fi devices, uh, both old and new. But on occasion I'll also cover some other consumer electronics devices and oddities. But without any further ado, let's get into the first video. So in this video I'll be covering this device. This is a Realistic Mini Set 6 compact cassette dictation machine. And as you can see on top of the box here, this was manufactured in Korea for Radio Shack, a division of Tandy Corporation. And opening up the box here, we've got a little packet inside. Let me just get that out. Come on. Now, inside this packet we have the original, the original owner's manual. Uh, inside here just gives you some information on how to operate it, which shouldn't be too complicated for a tape machine. And you can see on the page there the optional car power adapter and some maintenance information. And over here we've got the original purchase receipt. Now the fellow that or the that I received this from a friend and apparently her grandfather bought this and he traded in his old model mini set and got a $69 credit because this device was originally $79, but the total purchase amount is showing only $10.40 after tax. And that was January 20th of 1979. So, we'll put that away for now, slide all this back into the packet, and get the machine out of the box. It's well protected in this foam here. But I will be honest, I did have the machine out already once to clean it because it was in sorry shape. Uh, it looks much better now. <clears throat> Here's the uh, headphone microphone thing that you get with it. I'm probably not going to use that because it looks terrible. But here's the device itself. As you can see, it's fairly large. Got the big 70s look to it. And uh, we'll get all this out of the way. Now then, this is a mono device, so obviously it only plays one channel, the left channel. Um, you can see the little RS logo there for uh, Radio Shack. It runs on four AA batteries, which I've already put those in. And this being a, dicta a dictation machine, obviously it has the condenser microphone here in the top. And if you look beside that, we've got for the focus. We've got a, a headphone output, six fold in, external mic, and volume knob. But let's try a tape in this. I've got a brand new Type 4 metal tape here that I've recorded some music on from my Yamaha tape deck, which you'll see in a later video. Let's have a listen. Yeah, that's not what that tape is supposed to sound like. I've got an audio capture here from my Yamaha to a cassette deck. Let's have a listen to the mini set's internal speaker. So yeah, my hi-fi deck sounds much better than that. But I should mention that this device has no Dolby noise reduction at all, no B, C, or S. 
and it doesn't have any way of, of selecting or detecting what type of tape that you've inserted into it. So whether it's type 1 ferric, type 2 chrome, or type 4 metal, it just doesn't know. So it treats them all as type 1 ferric tape. So even if you put type 4 tape on this, it still won't record with the same quality as a hi-fi deck would. But I've got a type 1 tape here. I had to blank it out a bit because I did record on this tape earlier. But let's record onto this and then we'll have a listen back to it and see how it sounds. So now we are using this device as it was intended. You would take this to your lawyer's office or somewhere that you'd want to record the conversation and listen back to it later. All right, now let's have a listen to that. We'll just back the, back the tape up and then get past the non-magnetic header. So now we are using this device as it was intended. You'd take this to your lawyer's office or somewhere that you'd want to record the conversation and listen back to it later. I should mention that when you use this device as it was intended, it sounds very good. And the tape mechanism, if even though it's compact cassette instead of micro, is still very good at jumping around the tape. And you can use that to re-record over certain sections if need be. So, with all that said and done, no noise reduction, no tape type selection. Obviously, this wasn't intended to listen to music, but if I wanted to listen to music, I'd go buy a Walkman or something. But what it is designed to do, it does very well. But that's it for the moment. Thanks for watching.